The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to take a PDF form that you cannot either click on checkboxes to put input or that don't allow you the ability to type into the form or to fill it in. So for instance, you have to use an ink pen and there are tools that are available that give you the ability to convert this document into one that is typable. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to scroll back up to the top and leave this here and I'm going to click on Google Chrome because that's the search engine that I want to use and I'm going to type in PDF escape and press enter and this tool comes up and it shows me that I can click on this link to open the software at the very bottom right I'm going to click edit your PDF file now so in this area you'll select and click upload PDF and the PDF file I want to upload I'm going to click on choose file but mine has been saved to the desktop so I'm going to click on it and select open here I'll click upload and what I'll notice is that right now as I scroll down this is one of the checkboxes and really the whole area cannot be typed in or filled in right now automatically so what I'm going to do is look to the left and I'm going to click on form field and this comes up where it asks what type of field do you want to create I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to select checkbox and then select and the first thing that I'm going to do is click in this box by doing so I can go in and resize the box by clicking and dragging and to remove the check mark I'll click it one time and that gives me the ability to add that first check box you can do the same by clicking on the next one and again just clicking to remove the check mark and you'll just continue on like so until you filled in this area so I'm done with that and I decide that I want to move down a little bit further and what it's going to do is bring me to this spot so if you decide that you want to have an area to type in your text what you'll do is you'll click on that particular area if you get that that lets you know that's not right so in this case I'm going to press the delete button and I'm going to click form field again this time what I'm going to do is use the text button so I'm going to click select once I click one time it also gives me the opportunity to resize that field the way that I want click in the next area and continue on until you have all these fields done and because I'm just doing a sample here what I'm going to do is leave these like so it's my goal now to have this set up so that I can type in and if I want to I can just save what I have and download it if I look to the right I want to click save and download PDF and I'm going to place this onto the desktop and I'm going to say new application and I'll click on save and what I can do at this point is click to open that document and any of the fields that I have already created those will be able to be filled in so I'm going to scroll down and if you look at what I did earlier only the fields that I selected and added the modifications to allow me to provide input so I'm going to click here and you can see I can add in all the check marks that I want and of course I can uncheck it if I desire and if I move down a little bit further you'll see now that I have the opportunity to click and type in and now it's really neat that put my last name in it's really neat that you have the opportunity to fill in the rest of this information and now you just have this typable form so there you have it that's how you create a typable or a fillable form once that particular PDF file does not allow you to manually type it in